Oh, welcome back, Mike from Canavan Wealth. We have a uh, article going up on the website here about optimizing your Social Security benefits. It's a great lead in. I believe it's like Social Security Awareness Month. We have another one of these articles in a couple of weeks talking about a few other things. And we'll have a webinar in May for uh, about Social Security, kind of everything you need to know if you are getting towards that age and want to start thinking about Social Security or that's kind of on the horizon and a choice you're kind of actively making. This particular article is very good, goes through kind of all the different things that affect your Social Security. There's a lot less uh, flexibility than there used to be in the system. They've canceled, you know, kind of filed suspend and filing restricted. Really not that big of a deal for most people. What I want to take the opportunity here to talk about really was flexibility in the Social Security system, specifically two things. The first is that if you're like me, you want to have kind of a decision made well in advance. You're a planner. I'm not just a financial planner. I plan kind of everything in my life. I just like certainty. And if I was 60, I would want to know the way I was planning on filing for you know, when I was going to retire, you know, when I was going to file for Social Security and all of those things. But the flexibility that Social Security provides, I often encourage people not to overlook. And in other words, if you plan on retiring at, let's say, 65 and then filing then or delaying, I often tell you, don't make that decision until you're 64 and a half or even you know the first the couple of months before you're going to retire. Because I'll often point out if the market is doing well and has been doing well for the last few years, like you know, the 2000, the late teens, 21, 22, or excuse me, 2020, 2021, where the market was doing very well, you might think about deferring that social security and taking that money out of your retirement account, IRA, 401k, whatever it is, because the market is going to be keeping up with that very, very well. And then if it, but that doesn't mean that you have to wait until 70, if that's the decision you make, you may just decide to wait until we start to see a downturn in the market which will inevitably come in your retirement. So let's say you retire at 66, decide you're going to wait till 70, but then when you're 68 and a half, all of a sudden we go through a nasty market downturn. You might think about then filing for Social Security then because the market went down and your Social Security most likely did not go down. And it gets this double impact of, you know, we, we have kind of a new income source and we're not drawing down assets that, we want to be able to recover in the coming years after it. So a lot of flexibility there. I often tell people, don't decide to wait till 70, just decide to wait until tomorrow, right? And you can always change that decision. Whereas if you file early, you can't change that decision. For other folks who are wanting to retire as soon as possible because their job is too physically demanding anymore, or it's too stressful, or they just can't stand it anymore. I often point out, like if you want to fight, retire at 62 from your job, is there something else that you can do that would replace your Social Security income? Let's say you find out that Social Security is only going to be $1,300 or $1,500 a month at 62, and you just don't think that's going to cover it. Maybe you can leave your job or go contract work or part-time or something along those lines and you know cover that $1,500 a month, have some type of income that comes in, which allows you to then defer your Social Security to 66, 67, at which point maybe that $1,500 benefit has now grown you know, closer to 2000 and that's gonna be more along the lines of what you need. That's really a much more modern way that folks retire these days, although there are certainly plenty of folks that just go cold turkey and all of a sudden they're not working one day. There are lots of others that kind of ease their way uh, into retirement and kind of part-time work or something like that, allowing you to delay that social security a little bit um, is can be very, very, productive in terms of getting you what you want, which is maybe out of that one particular job, uh, while also not, you know, putting you in financial jeopardy. So we're gonna have lots and lots to talk about about Social Security in the coming weeks and month here. If you like the video, please do like it and subscribe if you want to see similar content. That Social Security seminar, which you can register for on the website at CanadaManWealth.com is just uh, May 19th at 10 a.m. If you have any questions about this, I know quite a bit about Social Security. I'd be happy to talk you through talk through it with you. You can email me at mike at camvanwealth.com or at camvanwealth.com. You can also kind of set up a phone appointment, could uh, book an appointment. Uh, I hope this has been informative. I will talk to you soon. Thank you.